Hello, I'm Dennis with Wildwood TV Lift Furniture. Today we're going to set up one of our TV lift beds. We're going to do the standard mechanism, and you'll want to maybe look at your invoice and see if you bought the standard, the deluxe mechanism, so you have all the information right. First thing I've done is I've got it all in the room, and I'm going to find a hardware box, that's, or a mechanism box that contains the hardware. As you open that up, you'll find a, a smaller white box, and within that white box, there's, a, there's an envelope that has um, hardware that we've included. That's the first thing I'm going to want to find. So we're going to go ahead and get started with putting the rails together on this bed. I'm going to go ahead and install the rails. So I'm going to get this first rail and you'll notice it has a kind of a bracket with some posts on this end and then the, and then the, the, the headboard and footboard will have these slotted, these kind of these oblong holes. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and slip that into those holes. It kind of starts at the top and then it will slide down to the, the base. And then my assistant is going to be doing the bottom at the same time. So I have to make some minor adjustments there to get that in. One thing on these, these is you'll want to just make sure that you've, you've th this, it's kind of a slotted hole there. And I just want to make sure that that is pushed down as far as possible. And as a matter of fact, you can, with a soft sole shoe, you can kind of just knock that down and make sure that that's in place. Okay, now I'm going to go do the same thing on the other side with the second rail. <clears throat> Get that lined up and into that slotted hole. And you'll, no you'll notice when it's kind of sliding down into that, um, into those slots. I'm just going to go ahead and push that down and just make sure that that, sometimes it even helps to kind of rock the uh, headboard or footboard back and forth just to make sure that it's kind of sliding down. Okay, now from the, uh, from that hardware packet that I had mentioned earlier, I have found um, four three quarter inch pan head screws so that they're just a, a Phillips screw. It's kind of a rounded head, three quarters of an inch long, and there's four of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure this rail to, in, in, to this, this plate by running a screw that actually goes through both the plate that's connected to the headboard and also the one that's connected to the rail. And there's a hole in the center. And then those two holes should line up. If those two holes are not lining up, you're going to have to work to get this down a little bit, this, this rail a little deeper into these holes. And again, sometimes moving the headboard back and forth, kind of stomping down with soft sole, soft soled shoes. I'm just going to go ahead and anchor that in place. There's one down here on the footboard. And this will just really hold it in place. And then I'm going to go do the same thing on the other rail. The next step will be to install the hardwood slats. Now this is a king size bed and so each slat is going to have two holes that will accept these legs. If you've bought a queen it will have one hole per slat, a foal will have one hole per slat and a twin won't need any at all. One side has kind of a barrel nut, the other side does not. We're going to come from the, the side that does not have the barrel nut and just thread those, those legs in until they're tight. And I'll do this on all, all of the, uh, the slats so that I'll have, again, there's four slats. I'll have, uh, I'll have two legs on each. Okay, now I'm going to just position these slats. There's four of them. And, and there's, a, there's a recess that's been, that's been cut out of the side rail that will allow this slat to sit right down in there. Okay, now from that same hardware pack that we've been using, I'm going to find eight of these inch and a quarter wood screws to attach these slats to the rails. I'm just going to screw that down. I'll do the same thing on the other side and then just repeat this process three more times down this, down this, uh, this rail system. Okay, with my slats all installed, now from that same hardware pack I'm going to find a four millimeter um, Allen wrench that, that came with your packet. I'm going to go ahead and just lift open this, the, the TV lift lid here. And in, inside here you're going to find a panel. And that panel is going to have a couple of, of uh, furniture connector screws that are just connecting that panel to the, to the outside of this footboard. And then we're going to connect the mechanism to that. So I'm just going to remove that with that Allen wrench. Obviously I'm going to hold on to these, these furniture connector screws that I've just pulled out. And then I'm just going to lift, kind of wiggle and lift this panel out. 
and that will allow us to connect the mechanism to this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and mount the, the standard mechanism to this uh, mechanism panel that we just removed from the footboard. I have the hardware kit that we've been drawing from all along here with me. I also have the standard mechanism here. And you'll know that it's a standard mechanism because the mechanism will be about 24 inches long. And what I'm going to do is, is grab the components, some of the components, from this small white box. And I'll go through those as we need them. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the actual mechanism. Just a couple of bars I'm going to pull out here. Now the mechanism, the bottom has this protrusion here and also the, some of the wiring that comes out of it. And that's all going to go down near, near where these two notches are protrude from this mechanism panel. And it has some brackets with holes. And what I'm going to do for this standard mechanism is I'm going to line it up the lowest hole with the second hole up on this mechanism panel. Okay, I've got the mechanism sitting on the panel. We just want to make sure it's oriented properly. The finish side should be up, and we're going to be threading down through into the, the T-nuts, which are on the bottom. So I've got this all set up here, and now, now from that same hardware pack that I've been drawing from, I'm going to find eight um, half-inch machine screws. And those machine screws will just go right into these, these eight holes on these, these tabs that, on the side of the mechanism. And I just want to make sure that, that it's aligned before you tighten anything down or you'll have to loosen it again. But I've got everything aligned here, I can see. Okay, and with these, you just need to snug them up. They don't have to be extremely tight. They just have to be nice and snug. Okay, now I'm going to dig back into this box, this white box that has some of the mechanism components and some of the, the, the electrical components. And I'm going to find a, a square a control panel. I'm also going to find a, a power supply, has one short wire already connected. And I'm going to find a bracket that we'll use for, for uh, securing that. Now back to the hardware pack that, I, that I've been working with all along. And now there should only be a few items left. There's two half inch uh, wood screws. And there's two inch and an eighth pan head screws. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this, uh, th this, this control box. Now, the control box, I want to make sure uh, down here it says DC input and motor. I'm going to uh, attach it to these lower two holes down here with that DC input and the motor closest to the, the mechanism. And I'm going to take this, these inch and an eighth pan head screws and they will go right into those holes that we've started to pre-drill into this board. And again, it just needs to be snug. You don't need to over tighten. You could do this with a hand screwdriver. Um, so I'm going to get that in position. Now I'm going to take our power supply and our supply, power supply with the short lead is going to go this direction, going to go toward the mechanism. This bracket slips over it and you'll see there's two uh, pre-drilled holes that have started there. I, I, I want to make sure that this, this power supply is kind of to, about to the edge of this tab that protrudes out. That gives plenty of room for the mechanism to move up and down. Now I'll take those two half inch screws that I have and I'm just going to anchor that down. Again, just this can really be done with just a hand screwdriver and you don't, you don't need to over tighten. And then I'm going to take that short lead to start putting this together and this will go into the top hole which says DC input. Now what I'm going to do is take this lead that comes from the mechanism down here and it's going to plug right into, it says motor dash HAL. And, and you'll notice that there's a clip, the clip is up and I'm just going to fit that down. So there are six pins, I'm just going to line that up. I'm going to push it until I hear that click. And now that's in, in position. Now the rest of the items in this box I'm just going to go through. There's a little cardboard box, white cardboard box, and that's going to be your remote control. We're going to want to pull that out. I'm just going to actually set that right up here because we're going to want to make sure that remote control is working the mechanism. Um, and then I'm going to find a, just a, a, an AC power cord. Traditional end will plug into your home on one end. And the other end is going to plug into this, this power supply right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in. 
The other items that are in the box, there's some hardware for mounting the TV. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. And then there's also a lid lifter, which we're going to use on this standard mechanism. Okay, I'm going to install the mechanism panel now into the footboard. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift this footboard. I'm going to do it from this angle so that you can see. You also may want to get a, an assistant to help you. Uh, the mechanism panel is just a little bit heavy, but I'm just going to go ahead and lift that up and over. I'm doing it this way so you can see. You'll see down in the bottom of the footboard, there's a couple of uh, cutouts and those tabs will fit right down into those cutouts and that will be correct positioning. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those furniture connectors that I had removed and I'm going to thread those back into those holes and then use the, uh, the quarter or the four millimeter Allen wrench to tighten those down. I'm just going to tighten that till it's snug. Again, doesn't, nothing really has to be over tightened here. Just, just kind of snugging that up. Okay, now there's a rocker switch that's been pre-installed and, and it has a wire. That rocker switch is going to plug into that control box that's in, in, on that mechanism panel that I just installed. So I'm just going to reach down inside here and it, it's, it's on the side that's closest to um, this rocker switch. And I'm just going to reach down in there. It also, this one also has a tab. They, they may be a little different. Um, some of them have these four tabs. Some of them just have three bars that kind of protrude out. But it will um, just latch in to that, uh, to that control box down there on this side. Okay, now I'm going to just take the, the DC power cord from that power supply on the mechanism panel. And I'm just going to plug it into one of these outlets here on this power supply that's connected to the so inside side of your, uh, of your footboard. And then this power supply has a long cord that I'm going to just, I'm going to put the, uh, the end of it down through the hole in the bottom of this footboard. And then I'll just thread this up to the, the power supply in, in the home here. So thread that down through, I'm going to grab it. Of course, I'll just go underneath. I'll just go ahead and thread that. But I'm going to go down through underneath all of these slats that I've installed and plug it into the home. And this should be sufficiently long to plug into a plug. Okay, there's two ways to raise the mechanism. One, there's a, there's a, a, a rocker switch right here that as you push that up and down, that's, that's directly wired to the, the mechanism and will always raise as long as there's power. The other way is the, 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 the remote control that I had mentioned and set aside. Pushing the button up will we'll raise it until you, all the way to the top until you touch it to stop it. And then the other way will uh, we'll lower it. Very rarely the remote control needs to be resynced to the mechanism. To do that, there is a learner button on, I've pulled out another one of our control panels. Your um, control panel is mounted down in like this. Here's the screw holes. Right at the top, top, uh, top um, right hand side, is a little hole. If you just take a ballpoint pen or, or a small Allen wrench and push it in once, you can cut, and that goes directly and you can kind of hear it click. As I click that and then, and then immediately click the, the, one of these um, the controls on the remote, it will relearn the remote's signal. The final step before we mount the TV to the mechanism is to find the lid lifter that we pulled out of that white mechanism box. And up here on the top of the mechanism, I've got the mechanism raised as far up as I can, there is a set screw that is, that's been pre-installed from the factory. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back that out and I'm going to, with the four millimeter Allen wrench, I'm going to hold on to it because I don't want it to fall down there. It holds in pretty good to that Allen wrench. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this lid lifter with the curve going toward the headboard, but I want to mount it um, into the fifth hole. So one, two, three, four, five. I know that that hole right there is as high as you can lift it uh, and, and still have the lid closed. So into the fifth hole, I'm just going to reinstall that screw with that lid lifter installed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower this and just lower the lid and test to make sure that lid's going to close all the way. Okay, great. The lid comes all the way down. And now I'm going to go ahead and raise that mechanism all the way up again and, and, and start mounting the TV to the mechanism. 
Okay, now I've got my TV set here and I'm getting ready to install it to the mechanism. I want to talk for just a minute about TVs and how and, and the sizing and that. The, the standard mechanism will take up to a 45 inch television. And so a 45 inch or smaller TV will work with what you have. Um, you'll, the TVs, modern TVs are, are pretty standard in the, in, in the arrangement or the layout of of the holes for mounting the mechanism or mounting it to a wall mount. This is called a VESA pattern and on the specs of the TV you'll see VESA. And this is a 200 by 200 VESA pattern so that's that's the most common. Now occasionally TVs will, will the, the whole pattern will be a little bit different. The 200 by 200 is is 200 millimeters but really it's about eight, eight inches by eight inches on this particular TV. If it's wider than that, you're going to need to use these lifting arms. The lifting arms just give you more adjustability in mounting the TV. And, and, and these would just be if the VESA pattern doesn't, doesn't match that 200 by 200, which is the, by far the most common. In that situation, uh, you're going to have to work with these to get it to mount onto the TV. Okay, from the, from the hardware box now, I found the, the hardware for mounting a TV. And there's some spacers. And then there's several different size of machine screws. And what I'm going to be looking for, because this particular TV has the smaller, the smaller thread as opposed to this larger thread. Um, so I'm going to just find the smaller thread and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of thread these in with, a, with just a hand screwdriver. And I'm just going to want to make sure they'll, they'll bottom out eventually when I get to the, to the bottom of the thread pattern in the back of the TV. And again, they vary a little bit. But this one tightens down to where there's almost, it almost tightens right down to the back of the TV, which is, which is what we want, because we just want this to go through the mechanism itself. But there are washers, if you need to add some washers to get a little bit of a build up. Um, but I, I'm gonna grab the four shortest screws, and I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna go ahead and mount this TV to the mechanism. Okay, with my assistant helping me, I'm just gonna go ahead and hand this TV across to him now. The key to mounting this TV as high as it can possibly be is you cannot be higher than this lifting, this lid lifter. So what I'm going to do is just kind of gauge wh where it can be and still just be as close to the top of this lid lifter as possible, but not above it. And so in this situation, and every TV is slightly different, so in this situation it looks like I'm going to be right there with the top ones. And if I need to use a washer, I'll use a washer. I mean, these are just kind of general ideas or general guidelines, but this one works pretty well. Um, you want to lower that side just a little bit there? Okay. And there, I, there are four holes here, so I'm going to just go ahead and put in all four screws. And the other two are down quite low down here. Okay, so the last thing to do will be to plug the TV into the power supply, which is located in the side of the footboard. And we hope this video has helped uh, in the installation and setup of your TV lift bed. We appreciate your business at Wildwood TV Lift Furniture. And if you have any questions, call customer service at the number on this screen.